your heart. <laughs> yes, my sins tore us apart, but I'm standing right here in the midst of my sins. Lord, I claim you to be. You are the Lamb of God. New life shall and it will begin. for a treat tonight. I'm not going to get started tonight because you all know this can get real ugly. So I want y'all to be nice and take y'all seats. You that are at home, I've come to recognize that when we have church here, you're having church there. So I want you to take your seat at home too. And I want you to help me to welcome because I don't want us to get beyond the time, but that song has ministered to millions of people. And I want to appreciate Sister Tim for still maintaining. I can even feel a different level of the anointing on her. And I'm telling you, the power in what we sing about is when we recognize who we're singing about. 
And when we can identify and have a personal testimony with what the Lord has done in our lives, He is the Lamb of God. And this is the time and this is the season that we will celebrate, we will choose to celebrate His birth. Because if it had not been for Him being born, we would be lost in sin. We would be still messed up. The book of Ezekiel says, He would found us drunken in our own blood, but He picked us up and washed us and cleansed us. And through His blood, now we are joint heirs with Christ. I want you at this time, all of the audience, TVN land, all of you that are watching, I want you to call the neighbor, call a friend, because I have a special announcement. The at the top of the hour, my next guest really need not to be introduced. Anybody that has been to his plays, anything that they've seen that he's done where Madea is concerned, you automatically know that this man is gifted from God. The Bible says, amen. We always look to be ministered to through spooky and spiritual things, but the Bible also tells us that laughter does good like a medicine. And I'm so happy and so overwhelmed to welcome for the first time to the TBN network and the TBN family, please put your hands together and help me welcome Mr. Tyler Perry. Oh, that's right. That's right. Get up and give it to him. They, they, they yeah. absolutely, they absolutely love you. That's wonderful. Tyler, I don't even know where to begin, but we're going we're gonna to have a fireside chat. And that's right, you just heard it right here. He specifically wrote a Christmas play for TBN. So at the top of the hour, the second half of the program, he even gave me a little part in the play. <laughs> so <laughs> you're going to be tremendously blessed. So call a neighbor, call a friend, and tell them the second half of the program, Madea, we're going to have Christmas with Madea. Amen. <laughs> Mr. Perry, I dare not just call you Tyler. Mm. The first thing that I want to, to um, really expose to the TBN network is that what God has really gifted you to do and what he has blessed you to do and all that you have accomplished. I mean, you, you're not one that really need to come on TBN to, to just kind of get your thing off the ground because everywhere you go, there are packed out auditoriums, oversold things, people have to wait to the next night and there are always thousands of people still wanting you to stay another week no night is a half night. Every night is a packed out house everywhere you go. But what I want to bring to somebody that's watching tonight who's going through a transition during this Christmas season, this has not always been like this for you. No, not at all. I want you to talk about the times when people don't believe looking at you now um, with what God has prospered you with and how he's blessed you yeah. that you were once a homeless man yeah, yeah why don't you tell us about that I, I you know I there's something to be said about following God when when I was doing um in my first show was I know I've been changing I know God gave me this word so I moved from Atla uh, New Orleans to Atlanta moved in to this uh, little apartment and, and saved some money and rented a theater mm -hmm. and I thought I would see 1200 people coming to see the show it ended up being 30 people who came. So I had wow. the rent money and everything and the car payments, everything tied up into that. But what happened was God. Wow. L listen, listen. Wait, you had 30 people to come listen. to something that you expected 1,200. So I, then you went in a hole. Completely in a hole. Couldn't pay the rent, couldn't pay the car payment, couldn't pay anything. And, and, and when you follow God, and God leads you into something. It, it, it was the strangest thing because I couldn't understand what was happening at the time. I, I, would, I would do the play, nobody would show up. And I'd go get another job and should start all over again and I, I would do the play again. And I would go to my boss and I'd say, you know, I need this time off. It's like, no, we can't give you any time off to go do a play. Wow. So either you work or you leave the job. And God said, I, would, I remember going back to my desk. and Y'all gotta excuse me because I'm, I, I've been, yeah. I've been from radio shows to Oprah, and I ain't been able to tell it like I feel it down in my soul. So that's that's what I want to that's what I want to tell you. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I I I went back to my desk and I sat there for a minute. I think now, God, I know you told me to do this, so you provide, make the way. I'm gonna walk out of here. 
I got up, went out, went did the show. Same thing happened. Hurricane came through. 300 people in the audience. Couldn't pay the cast. Everybody's angry. They're upset. And I go to God and I say, God, what's going on? Couldn't hear anything from him. He would not say one word to me. Wow. This happened over and over and over again uh, up until 1998. By then I had had it. I told God, I said, I'm not doing it no more. I'm not going to do another play. You, you, you bring me out there, and then you don't say a word to me. So uh, mm. the, the House of Blues, the House of Blues in Atlanta asked me to do a play. I was like, no, I'm not going to do it. But then a few friends called. They said, no, you should do it. So I go over and I do it. And they had de this church. They had put folk art all over this church. They had turned it into the House of Blues. Mm -hmm. I said, I'm not performing in here. So I left. Came back the next day. Everything was gone. Wow. Yeah, yeah. This is this is this is part of the miracle. I didn't know it at the time. I'm still murmuring and complaining. D I did the show. Uh, well, let me back up for just a minute. We were in rehearsals for the show. The heat went out in the building. It was a cold night in Atlanta, like tonight. Yeah. And we uh, we sat we sat there. We were rehearsing, and I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know if anybody was buying any tickets. I didn't know any any of that. And I sat in the dressing room the night of the show, and I said, God, you know what? I've had enough. This, I was 28 at the time, and I said, I, I can't go on living like this. You, I know you told me to do this. I know you keep bringing me out here, but I don't hear from you. Mm. When I get in these situations, when I can't pay the rent, when I can't pay the bills, when I got friends and family, I'm calling them for $20, $30 so that I can eat. When I'm dependent on the kindness of strangers to buy cookies for me to eat. Wow. That, that's, 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 that's when you know. But, but I knew God was telling, when God is telling you mm. something, and you know it in your spirit. Yes. It doesn't matter what mama says, what daddy says, what anybody. You walk into what God is telling yeah. you. So what I did was I said, okay, I'm not doing it no more, God. And I heard a still small voice say to me, I am God. I tell you when it's over. You don't tell me when it's over. The, the tears, the tears begin to roll down my face. And I thought about it. I said, now, God, I, 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 why didn't I hear from you during that time? You, you, do you bring me out here? He said, I had to prove you. Because I'm going to bring you into some places, and I'm going to bring you around some people where I need to know that you would not be ashamed to call the name Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so I'm sitting there crying, and he's ministering to me, and I get up, and he says, look out the window. I looked out of the window. There was a line around the corner trying to get in the place. In the cold, it was so amazing that only God could have done it. Yes, yes, yes. So from that point on, we have been sold out everywhere we've gone. It's been crowd after crowd. And, and I know, and I, now I see why the proving, I, now I see why God had to shut up heaven and just be quiet to make sure that, because I've had offers come to me. They pay you millions of dollars to do this, or millions of dollars to do a television show. I was sitting in a room, uh, y'all, uh, uh, I... <laughs> I, re I, remember, I remember being in a, in a major television network. I was sitting there with them, and they wanted me to do the sitcom. And I'm sitting around this table with a bunch of people that probably didn't know God and, and, do, and don't look like me. Can I just be real? Yes. And they said, well, we're going we're gonna to write this show for you, and we're going to write this, and we're going to do this. And I thought, well, no, 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 no. I've got a specific way that I'm going to do this. Mm -hmm. And, uh, well, I want to say Jesus right here. And they told me, they clearly said to me, you cannot say Jesus on this network. Wow. Said it to me. I said, if my God is not invited, I ain't either, so I'm leaving. I, I, yeah, 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 yeah. Let me, but, but let, but let me, let me tell you, let me tell you about, let me tell you about following God. When you put God, when you put Him first, and you trust Him in everything. When you trust him through being homeless, when you trust him when everybody ain't, there's something about the power of praise. When you can say thank you for everything. Yes. No matter what, no, I know it's Christmas time, no matter what situation you're in, no matter what you're going through, I've had to come through so much just to be able to sit in this seat, and I thank God for it. A lot of people look at it. That's right. A lot of people criticize it, and yes. a lot of people want a part of it, but yes. they don't want to sit in the seat. That's right. The seat and, of suffering. Yes, yes. To get you to yes, where you are now. Yes, They yes. want to reign, but they don't want to suffer. That's the truth. That's the truth. And to, and to be here at this point now, looking at, I, I, I remember, when you're going through, I dare anybody, I don't care what you're going through, whatever it is, I dare you, whatever situation, no matter how sad or dark you think it is, for you just to say, you know what, God, I praise you. Yeah. I, I, I don't understand it. I don't know why it's happening, but I'm going to thank you anyway. Wow. And when all hell starts breaking loose in your life, that's the time to praise yes. God. Yes, Be yes, yes. Be 
Because you you have just walked into something amazing. You 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 have just that when the devil is really trying to get at you and stop you from what God has, that's the time to praise him. If you want to be close to him, praise him. That's right. I'm I'm gonna let you talk because I you, you let me let me tell you something. <laughs> Yeah. And, 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 for, and for God and for and no, go ahead. and for God and for God to put you in this situation, He said, I had to prove you, and then I'm going to bless you with so much, so many blessings, and and not just not just money. He, he, he'll, he'll do that, but He'll bless you with so much that when you stand, you can say, I know you're offering me this, but I don't need it. That's it. The cattle on a thousand hills belong to the Lord. That's right. That's right. That's right. So before I could leave there. Hollywood, I had my first movie deal. I said, no, I just b been through this. Y'all want to tell me how to do it, and you want to tell me I can't use No, thank you. Phone rings again. It's like, we'll let you do whatever you want to do. Yeah. Tyler. Yeah. Yeah. You... The thing that I want to commend you about, the thing that I want to commend you about is that so many Christians feel like they have to sell out. Yeah. Yeah. in order to cross over. Yeah. And I can appreciate you for allowing the Lord to cross you over without selling out because, yeah. I, amen, I, I, I went to, um, I had the opportunity, the awesome opportunity, and I didn't know at the time it was going to be as awesome as it was, but I'm like a little auntie mama now. I'm, I'm, I'm raising my 13-year-old my, my niece, and um, hi, Kita. You know, she just... <laughs> <laughs> and... Um, Kita was like, Auntie, we don't never go nowhere. All we do is go to church. You, you, don't, you just do you do anything besides go to church? And so I was like, okay. So when I, I heard that one of your plays was coming to town, I, you know, when they got the tickets, I said, all right. And I'm telling you, you don't know what a press it was for me to come off the road from preaching. And then, you yeah. know, and I'm not jealous of any mamas in here tonight yeah. and nationwide. Yeah when you have to come home from work and then change your clothes and then yeah. put your mind in the back and then you got to act like you're going to really enjoy it. Right. And so, you know, you, you, you all got us tickets, and we came to see the play, and meet the I have, meet the Browns. Meet the Browns, yeah. I have yeah. never in my life been in a public place where I hit the floor three times laughing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I was, yeah. at one point, I think I turned around to you and said, I'm going to be sick. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to really yeah, be sick. Yeah, I'm, I'm really yeah. good. I have not laughed that hard, and I don't know when. And I was like, this is amazing because you, the Bible said, he that winneth souls is wise. Yeah. And something that you do that is so profound for this hour and for this era, we, we have to realize that when the, when the times begin to change, we have to begin to change with the times, not change our God. Yeah. No, no. But, but change, change our method. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The and Bible God, said... And, and God will walk you into that. Yes, God, he will. God, when, I, when you know, people think about Medea, they look at the laughter and all the funny and the jokes and all the other stuff, but there's a line that runs all the way through it, which is God. And, and truth. And forgiveness and power and truth. the truth. The because truth. you've yeah. dealt with some delicate situations. Yeah. You've dealt with molestation. You've dealt with divorce. You've dealt with families breaking up. You know, you, you've dealt with mothers rejecting their children. You've dealt with divorce. Divorce. You've dealt with death. You've dealt with people marrying the wrong person. And in all of your plays that I've seen, you know, by DVD or, you know, however, you know, came, came to see it, all of what you're talking about, though it's comical, it is a refreshing way because a lot of people will never go to anybody's church. True. Yeah. But they will come to your play yeah, and hear true. truth. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Yeah. And, and Everybody that's going to come to Jesus right. is not going to come to Jesus right. through, a, through a tabernacle or a temple because God sets up a tabernacle in the wilderness. Yeah. And I believe that's what your plays but before are. Before anything can grow in the wilderness, somebody's got to plant the seed. That's right. Yeah. The yeah. Bible so, says some water, some yeah. planted, but right. God bring the increase. That's, that's it. So in the midst of all of what you've been doing, I need to ask you this. Where did the character of Madea come from? <laughs> Because she is a straight mess. Madea, Madea is a, my mother. My mother's going to kill her mom. <laughs> she's, but she's, she, she's a cross between my mother and my, my aunt. I remember, I got an aunt in Texas. I remember being in Texas with David and Tam. He plays Brown and, and Cor. We were on stage. And my aunt, she never... <laughs> She never buys tickets to the show. She just shows up. Look here, I'm, I'm here. I'm, I'm his aunt. Y'all got to let me in here. <laughs> so, so I didn't, I didn't know she was there. So she comes down. She comes down. Says, "Hey, 
she starts rubbing across the back, the front of the pit like this so that I can notice she's there uh -huh. during the show. Uh -huh. Yeah, she's, she's, she's pretty funny. Ca ca you know, they carry their pistols, they smoke, they don't care. But you know what I found, you know, you, and that's Medea, but you know what I found about, about Christianity is, uh, what, I, what I found out about this is we are, we are living as Christians, but when we walk into situations, we're not around a bunch of saved people. That's right. So, so we have to be some sort of example for them. That's right. So I, write from a, I don't write from a point of view of Medea. What I write from is the point of view of the situation. Right. And then what happens if, if you've got saved people and unsaved and you've got all of these people coming together, what right. happens? So that's, that's, that's the place that I write from, and that's where she comes from. Now, now, meet the Bronx, and this is what I want to also commend you about. I guess she said, I just got a whole lot of accommodations and all of that, <laughs> whatever. But, <laughs> but I love you because you're not selfish. No. Because no, no. when you, you were doing the Madea plays, yeah. and then I remember you telling me some time ago you wanted to take a break, mm. and then the Browns is Dave Manns and Tammy. Tamla Man, uh-huh. And you were a partaker of writing that and putting that together yeah. and really helping to, to, to push the Browns for a season. And, and I think that's awesome because sometimes, you know, when people do things like that, you know, if they ain't all that, then they don't want to help nobody else yeah. get anywhere. And yeah. I can appreciate no. you yeah. for... Come on, y'all. Yeah. Because yeah. it's really an extension of your talent. And it's, a, and it's almost like... Um, uh, the, 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 the Browns is really an extended family, yeah. you know, of Madeas, and it can go on and on and on, and it's like, it's like awesome. Can you tell me how all of that came? I, I, I would hear, we would be on stage, and I would hear the applause every time Brown would come out. There'd mm -hmm. be all of this applause and all of this laughter, because, and I realized, it's like, people really love this guy, and he and his wife, if they had not been, he and Tamla, if they had not been the people that they are, because I've worked with a lot of people I, I don't want to call again. I know that's okay. horrible to say, yes. but it's no, the it's truth. True. Because, you, you know, you, you, I'm a giver from my heart. I've always have been, and I try to help people. And when you reach out to people and, and they, they throw it back at your, in you, right. at your face, you Bite know, it's something you. else. Yeah. Hard. But, but these, these two people, are, they've been married 16 years. They are a wonderful example of what a couple should be. Wow. I've worked with them for six years, and I've seen nothing but God in them. Oh, my God. Yeah. So it could not... It could not have it could not have been done for better people. It could not have happened to better people. So I wanted to write something. I was going to go away and take a break and, and do, but then I thought it would be selfish because uh, you know I've got my band and you know my, my Mike Frazier who's my musical director. You're going to hear his story. Yeah, we're going to meet him. Yeah. There, I have all of these people that have been working for me all of this time faithfully. Wow. So I didn't want to just leave them all out and say, I'm going to do my thing. So, right. So I, I wrote this show, and, and he took it and ran with it. He, wow. He took it and ran with it so hard that I, 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 I'm, I'm a little worried about my new show, so I got to come up with something. You ain't got to be worried, because I'm telling you, you, my dear, got it. <laughs> and 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 it is I mean she shall forever live on. Yeah, yeah. She shall forever live on. Now I want I wanna talk about too that and, and, and I have to admit some somebody give me forty dollars over there. Somebody got forty dollars, bring me forty some bring me forty dollars because you know, I, I I walked into this establishment, and I'm just gonna be honest that I, I didn't know it was bootleg tapes. I, I really didn't. I, I'm slow. <laughs> and and they were selling your tapes. I got to pay you. I got, I got to. I got to pay you. I got to pay you. Oh my God! I got to pay. You. And, we gonna, we gonna sew this into TV. And my sister said to me. <laughs> my sister said to me, you. You bought a bootleg? I said, I ain't bought no bootleg. That was it. She said, Nita, where you been? Yeah, yeah. You slow. But I tell you this, when I got the tape home, it was all cloudy. Yeah. I couldn't really hear the sound, and my sound was turned all the way up, and I didn't even finish watching it. I, I snatched it out the thing and said, you know what? I'm not going to do this to Tyler Perry. I'm not going to be no bootleg and hustling. <laughs> I'm going to be honest and give this man his money for his tapes. Because I, I, I'm telling you, and, and, and I know that there's a lot of that going along because, because they even do it to my preaching yeah. tapes. And I, I mean, I walk isn't with it, the people and they be selling them hard. And I was like, do you know that's me? Yeah, isn't it amazing? I, I walked, I walked, I was in And they be like, get this tape. I yeah, said, that's me. That's me, yeah. I walked up that's I, you? in New York. In yeah, New with York. no makeup on you, that's, that's me. That's me, with no makeup. <laughs> <laughs> I, was walk, I was walking down the street in New York and they had them all on, on the, five dollars, five dollars, five dollars. And they had Meet the Browns down there. I didn't even release the video yet. This wow. is early November. 
I said, when's that one coming out? He said, uh, November 15th, it'll be out, the day I was going to release. So it's, oh my it's a God. horrible, horrible problem. It's well, I just I, I just want to say, if, you, if, if you're interested, and you will be, before tonight is over with, you need to visit his website. You need to get um, uh, Madea's family reunion. Come on, name it, because I've, see, I've, see, I've seen them all. Diary, 15 of, a, Diary of a Mad Black Di Woman. And Diary of a Mad Black Woman is now a movie. That's February 25th. That's going to be in the theaters February 25th. Yeah. yeah and so yeah. you need to go. Yeah. We all need to go. Yeah. <laughs> See, Diary of a Mad and don't, Black Woman. And don't let, the, don't let the title fool you. It's, it's a universal story. It's a it, story is. It, it is a story about a woman whose husband leaves her after 20 years of marriage. She was saved. She is saved. Right. And didn't know what to do. Didn't know how to react or how to overcome it. So it's about her journey and trying to forgive this man to move on. But the twist is he goes out and gets in a car accident. And the new, his new wife brings him back to the old wife and says, I can't take care of him. Now, how much, how much God do you have to have to take somebody in when that kind of situation happens? Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, we are certainly, certainly very, very proud that not only, I mean, you started out with nothing, and now you, you, you pack in auditoriums all across this country, you know, with, with, with your plays, and then you've crossed over, and God has opened up a door for Madea to now go to the big screen. And, and I know you're doing all right, because I saw that big old phantom outside when I... Ain't that a car? That's the car. And I just, I just want to appreciate the fact that you are somebody that, that, that got it honest, that is blessing the nation, blessing people. And if you've never seen any of Madea's plays, you need to visit the website because I'm telling you, it is going to bless you. It is going to bless you. It's going to make you really, really laugh and forget about, forget about some of the stuff that you're going through. Now, I want you... Uh, Tyler, because I know this is like impromptu, and it, it, you know we usually have a song here and all this, but I want you to tell us how you met my my next guest. 